Let us now take the 8th model from this topic of permutations and combinations where we shall discuss questions related to combinations but with a condition given in the question. Earlier in model 7 we have taken basic questions from combinations but now we shall take up questions where selection of a team or a committee has to be done along with certain conditions to be followed. Let us look at the first example. Out of 10 men there are 4 doctors, 3 teachers and 3 lawyers and out of 8 women there are 3 doctors three dancers and two lawyers. In how many ways can a committee of five persons be formed such that there are three doctors and two lawyers? Now here as you can see we have got two groups group of 10 men and another group of eight women. Out of 10 men there are four doctors, three teachers and three lawyers and out of eight women there are three doctors, three dancers and two lawyers. So altogether 4 plus 3 plus 3 is 10 men and 3 plus 3 plus 2 is 8 women. So we have a total of 18 persons in the group and we are supposed to form a committee of 5 persons such that there are 3 doctors and 2 lawyers in this committee. Now we know that forming a committee or forming a team comes under combination and we need to go for NCR that is N factorial by N minus R factorial into R factorial where n is the total number of persons and r is the number of persons which have to be selected or which have, to, which have to be chosen. Now without any condition we can say that there are 18 persons here. So when there is no condition we can say that the answer that is in how many ways can a committee of 5 persons be formed out of 18 persons can be taken as 18c5. Now by simplifying this we get the required answer but here we have a condition. The condition says there should be 3 doctors and 2 lawyers. That means out of 5 persons which have been selected in the committee, there have to be 3 doctors and 2 lawyers. Now altogether if we try to observe, we have 4 male doctors and 3 female doctors. So total we have got 7 doctors and we have got 3 male lawyers and 2 female lawyers. That means total we have got 5 lawyers. So out of these 18 persons, we can say 4 plus 3, there are 7 doctors and 3 plus 2, there are total five lawyers. Now we need to form a committee of five persons such that there are three doctors and two lawyers. Now if we have to select three doctors the total choice that we have here is seven. Out of these seven doctors it can be a male doctor or can be a female doctor right? because nothing regarding the gender has been given in the question. So out of total seven doctors we need to choose three. We know that we can select three doctors out of seven in seven C three ways. And out of these total 5 lawyers, again the gender has not been specified. So it can be either a male lawyer or a female lawyer. So we have got total 5 lawyers and we need to select 2 of them. And we know that out of 5 we can select 2 lawyers in 5C 2 ways. Now going by the principle of multiplication, one action can be done in 7C 3 ways. The other action can be done in 5C 2 ways. And since we are forming a committee of 5 persons here, both the actions have to be done together. So we can say the final answer is 7C3 into 5C2. So the committee which has got 3 doctors and 2 lawyers will be formed in 7C3 into 5C2 ways. So by simplifying that, we get the answer for this question. Let us now take the second example from model 8. The question here is, out of 10 women, there are 4 doctors, 3 teachers and 3 lawyers. And 8 women, there are 3 doctors, 3 dancers and 2 lawyers. So in how many ways can a committee of 5 persons be formed such that there are 2 teachers and 1 doctor in the committee? So this time the question says out of the 5 members of the committee, there should be 2 teachers and 1 doctor. Now understand friends here, it is given that there should be 2 teachers and 1 doctor. That means remaining 2 persons can be of any other profession. But there must be 2 teachers and 1 doctor. And also whenever such a condition is given understand that there can be only two teachers we cannot take more than two teachers and likewise there can be only one doctor we cannot take more than one doctor. So there has to be exactly two teachers and exactly one doctor in the committee and remaining two persons can be of any other profession. Now as given in the question we know that there are total 10 men out of which four are doctors, three are teachers and three are lawyers. And there are 8 women. Out of these 8 women, there are 3 doctors, there are 3 dancers, let us take dancers as dancers and 2 lawyers. There are 2 lawyers. Now we need to form a committee of 5 persons in such a way that there are 2 teachers and 1 doctor. Now when we want 2 teachers, we see that there are total 3 teachers in this group. 
there are only male teachers there is no female teacher here so out of these three teachers we need to select two that can be done in 3c two ways then we need one doctor there are total seven doctors four male doctors and three female doctors out of four plus three seven doctors we need to select one of them remember again here nothing about the gender has been specified so it can be either a male doctor or a female doctor that is the reason we consider total seven doctors out of seven we need to take one that can be done in 7c one ways so altogether so far we have got two persons as teachers and one person as doctor now we know that the committee should have total five persons already two plus one three persons have been selected now we need two more persons now to select those two persons we should not consider the doctors here why because as given in the question there should be only one doctor and that has been taken so these doctors cannot be considered now and also the three teachers must not be considered out of the remaining professions that means lawyers or dancers we can select the remaining two persons here now total we have got three plus three plus two eight persons three dancers and total five lawyers out of five and three eight persons we need to select two more persons so that can be done as 8c two ways so we find that total we have got five person now two teachers out of total three teachers one doctor out of total seven doctors and remaining two persons out of remaining eight persons there now we know that 3c2 is nothing but three factorial divided by three minus two one factorial into two factorial into 7c1 is equal to 7 factorial by 7 minus 1 6 factorial into 1 factorial into 8c2 is 8 factorial divided by 8 minus 2 6 factorial into 2 factorial now this can be simplified to get the required answer 7 factorial by 6 factorial will be equal to 7 why because 7 factorial is nothing but 7 into 6 factorial so 6 factorial 6 factorial gets cancelled we are left out with 7 likewise 8 divided by 6 factorial can be taken as 8 into 7 why because 8 factorial is 8 into 7 into 6 factorial so that 6 factorial 6 factorial gets cancelled 2 factorial is equal to 2 that is very clear again here 1 factorial is 1 1 factorial is 1 this 2 factorial as well is 2 and 3 factorial is equal to 6 so we say that finally we have got 3 factorial which is 6 into 7 into 8 into 7 divided by 1 factorial is 1 into 2 factorial is 2 into here we have one factorial and here we have two factorial so that can be taken as two only so two into two is four which goes two times here so the final answer will be six into seven into two into seven six into seven is 42 42 into two is 84 84 into seven can be taken as 588 so we can say there are 588 possible committees which can be formed such that there are two teachers and one doctor so this is how we can simplify these type of calculations and get the required answer but remember before you do the simplification just throw a glance at the options why because in some cases options are given directly in terms of factorials so there we need not simplify or sometimes options are given in terms of ncr so there again simplification is not required only when the options are given in actual number of ways we need to do the simplification and get the required answer let us now take the third example from model 8 where again we are going to take a new condition again the similar data out of 10 men there are four doctors three teachers three lawyers and out of eight women there are three doctors three dancers and two lawyers so different genders and different professions in how many ways can a committee of five persons be formed such that there are two female doctors and two male lawyers now as you can see this is a profession and gender based condition we need to have two female doctors and two male lawyers so very specifically the gender as well as the profession has been specified now again the working here remains same first of all we need to select those persons as given in the condition we need two female doctors total we have three female doctors in the given question so we can say two female doctors can be selected in three c two ways there are three women doctors three female doctors we need two of them so that can be done in three c two ways so out of three two have been selected and we need two male lawyers altogether we have got three male lawyers but because there are three lawyers under 10 men so out of these three we need to have two of them so again that can be done in 3c two ways now so far we have selected two plus two four persons in the committee but the question says we need to form a committee of five persons that means one more person is required and this one person can be any one of the remaining persons remember so far we have dealt with three doctors three female doctors and three male lawyers now apart from these persons we can have the left out person from any one of the remaining groups that means total we see that there are four doctors or four male doctors three teachers so that is seven and three dancers ten and two lawyers 
two female lawyers that is 12 so out of the remaining 12 persons we have to select one person that can be done in 12 c one ways and going by the principle of multiplication we can say that altogether the number of ways will be 3 c 2 into 3 c 2 into 12 c 1 and this can be simplified as 3 c 2 is nothing but 3 c 1 which is equal to 3 into 3 c 2 again will be equal to 3 into 12 c 1 is 12 so 3 into 3 9 9 into 12 is 108 so there are 108 ways in which a committee of five persons can be chosen such that there are two female doctors and two male lawyers included in the committee now the important point that we need to understand here is when the question says there have to be two female doctors and two male lawyers it doesn't mean that we cannot have male doctors or female lawyers in the committee if there are extra persons required then those extra persons can be male doctors or they can be female lawyers as well so that is the reason after selecting two female doctors out of three and two male lawyers out of three we are considering all the remaining persons that means we are taking four male doctors and two female lawyers as well into consideration so altogether we see that 4 plus 3 7 plus 3 10 plus 2 12 persons are there out of 12 we need one more let us now take the fourth example from model 8 again with respect to the same number of persons the condition here says there should be at least three doctors in the committee in how many ways can a committee of five persons be formed such that there are at least three doctors in the committee formed now we know that there are 10 men eight women and these are the different professions that we have four doctors three teachers three lawyers three doctors three dancers and two lawyers now we need to form a committee of five persons such that at least three are doctors and gender has not been specified so it can be a male doctor or can be a female doctor now the word at least here means that minimum there has to be three doctors so there can be three doctors and two persons of other professions or we can have four doctors and one person of other profession or we can have all the five as doctors so here there are three possible cases we can say when we have to form a committee of five persons in this five persons there can be three doctors and two persons can be of other professions two persons of other professions or the other possible way here is there can be four doctors and one person of other profession or finally we can say all the five can be doctors so these are the three possible cases three doctors two of other professions four doctors one person of other profession or all the five are doctors now simply by doing the combinations for each one of them we can get the required answer remember friends whenever we have three different cases we always need to take it as plus in between them that is whenever the word or is used in case of permutations and combinations we should take it as plus so number of combinations for this case plus number of combinations plus for this case plus number of combinations for the last case now if you try to observe altogether we have got four plus three seven doctors and apart from doctors there are left out 11 persons of other professions 3 plus 3 6 plus 3 9 plus 2 11 so there are 11 persons of other professions so let's see in how many ways can we go for the first one now three doctors out of seven can be selected in seven c three ways into two of other professions out of 11 persons of other professions we need to select two that can be done in 11 c two ways remember this plus here doesn't mean that we have to take plus plus means what we are doing both of them together and going by the principle of multiplication when two actions are done together we have to take into in between them so 7 c 3 ways into 11 c 2 ways but here we should take it as plus or always means plus now the second one here is four doctors and one person of other professions so out of seven doctors four doctors can be selected in 7 c 4 ways and the other person can be selected out of remaining 11 persons so that can be done in 11 c 1 ways and finally the third case or again is plus five doctors all the five can be doctors and we need not have any other person of other profession there so all five doctors out of seven can be selected in seven c five ways so that's the final answer seven c three into eleven c two plus seven c four into eleven c one plus seven c five so this is how whenever the word at least is used it can be any profession can be doctors or can be teachers or can be any other profession there at least is minimum those many persons so it can be minimum three and go up to maximum five persons right? because the committee is there for five persons similarly to make it even more complicated we can say that in how many ways can a committee of five persons be formed such that there are at least three doctors in the committee and there is no lawyer at least three doctor and there should not be any lawyer now in this case the 
first half of the question remains same that is there must be at least three doctors but there should not be any law here. So what we do here is because the at least three doctors are required it can be three doctors two persons of other professions but not lawyers or four doctors and one person of other profession but not lawyers or all the five can be doctors. So while doing this what we need to do is for the second half we need not consider these lawyers here. So we can say that out of seven doctors either three doctors or four doctors or five doctors are required or remaining we have three teachers and three dancers that means remaining are six persons out of those six persons we can have two persons or one person or no person in the third case. So that's how you go for it when there are at least three doctors and no lawyer simply what we do is out of this 11 we need to remove the five lawyers so 11 minus 5 will be equal to six persons of other professions there and then simply we can take it as 7c3 into 6c2 plus 7c4 into 6c1 plus 7c5 so that's how based on the condition we just need to decide which of the persons have to be considered and which persons should not be considered in the selection and then accordingly by doing the number of selections we can get the required answer let us now take the fifth example from model 8 where again we are going to discuss a new condition with respect to combinations. Now for the same data that is out of 10 men and 8 women where different professions are given we need to form a committee of 5 persons such that there is no doctor and no dancer in the committee. So the committee should have 5 persons but there should not be any doctor or any dancer in the committee. So this is again a very simple and straightforward question and to solve this what we need to do is while doing the number of selections we simply have to skip all the doctors and the dancers why because doctors and dancers should not be considered in the committee or should not be selected in the committee now here we have four male doctors three female doctors they can be eliminated and we have got three dancers only under women so even these three dancers have to be eliminated why because doctors and dancers are not supposed to be a part of the committee now the remaining persons here are three teachers three lawyers and two lawyers here so three plus three six plus two eight out of these remaining eight persons we can select any five of them why because with that we satisfy the condition we are not considering doctors and dancers so we can simply say that the answer is three plus three plus two that is out of eight we need to select five eight c five and eight c five can be taken as eight factorial by eight minus five three factorial into five factorial this can be further simplified as 8 into 7 into 6 into 5 factorial divided by 3 factorial is 6 into 5 factorial. So 5 factorial and 5 factorial gets cancelled. 6 and 6 gets cancelled. 8 into 7 will give 56. So there are 56 ways in which such a committee can be formed of 5 persons where there are no doctors and no dancers. So whenever a particular type of object or a particular type of person is not required, we simply have to leave those persons while doing the selections. So this is how the various type of conditions can be given for questions related to combinations. And remember friends as I have mentioned earlier object need not be a person always. For example here we have persons of different professions. Likewise we can have different colored balls. For example 5 yellow balls, 3 green balls, 2 blue balls and so on. And we need to select a number of balls out of them where different conditions are given like we have discussed in these 5 examples. So whatever be the type of object for solving questions related to combinations based on different conditions we simply need to go as per the given condition and get the required answer.